Hey many bugs, you ready to learn more from yours truly? Welcome back to Bug Fables. Last time we played, we made we had made the game out to be way worse than it really was. I mean I really love the fact that they had the fact that these people loved Paper Mario so much that they made a game that was basically the same as Paper Mario. It it makes it makes me feel really happy and even though I don't even really like Paper Mario that much. So yeah. It's just cool that even despite the fact that I don't care for Paper Mario, I'm just glad this game exists. Now anyway. The path ahead leads to Snake Path and it's currently only licensed by have a permit. Aw oh, man, I can't even... I can't even psych this one guy out. Mm. Alright, this checks out all the gate. They travel, it's explorers. I mean... It's not like you can even get to this point in the game without getting the explorers permit unless you add some sort of randomizer on. But even then, the, the cheat code random. That I mean, if you name your profile random. It doesn't really do much. Alright, now let's jump on this totally not Goomba. Oh, wait, no, it's not a Goomba, it's a Seedling. Let's spy on this Goo Seedling. It's one of those stupid, annoying Seedlings that aren't even based off of a real-life creature, unlike most of us. Uh, I mean, let's just get on with the dialogue. They're all over the outskirts, don't even drop good items. Let's beat them up already. Yeesh, V. Don't you think that's a bit harsh? Actually, wait, you're the one tattling, so therefore I can't do anything. Huh. I think that's the first time I've ever messed that attack up. Wow, this is just sad. Can't believe I'm doing this bad. That is just... Wow. I actually... I didn't even know it was possible, but I actually saw someone mess up Cabby's attack. Anyway. So if I haven't made it clear enough yet, I'm going to go cut away it. I'm going to get, just like Luigi X Rules' is Paper Mario ser Sticker Star series, I'm going to go cut out, cut out the unnecessary battles that really don't further anything. And are really just there for padding. Let's see, the C-Stick does nothing, the D-Pad lets us move in more confined ways. That'll be useful for when we get on tight ropes. Never. So yeah, this is tall grass. Wow. I, I completely forgot that there was a time where these things actually gave a decent amount of experience. I mean, the time when they don't give a decent amount of experience is literally right after you leave Snake Mouth dead. Ooh, cool, mild rotation of the camera. I, I have no idea how I didn't notice that before. I guess that should just go to show how smooth and unnoticeable it is. Alright, well, for some reason, I, I just cannot block myself out of a... Not block myself out of a screen door. <laughs> I don't know what that was all about, guys. So let's see. There's this thing. Now it'd be awesome if we could like dig under it and go over to that completely pointless area. Wouldn't it, Cabil? I don't really care. Don't worry, the rest of the video isn't going to be that cringy. For those who are, for some reason, starting in part 2 and not part 1. My last part 1 came off as cringy as well. Anyway, where are you going? Snake Mouth is through the northwest. Um, yeah, I knew that. What'd I do to hit Cavill with a beam ring right now? Excuse me, bug of old complexion. Is everything alright? No! Hey, Cavi, we're supposed to be adventuring, Snake Mouth Den, Endless Riches. I mean, you were the one that was egged me on to come over here in the first place. Sorry, V, I cannot ignore 
ignore an old bug in this dress. First of all, name's Chuck, and I bet I'm younger than both of y'all. But if you gotta know. Almost done arranging my cozy rest space for trial was going to snake mount then. I just can't pull out this darn weed. Call this cozy? It's not very nice. Chuck, snake mount the den is more dangerous than right now on a wedding day. What kind of analogy is that? <laughs> Look, will you help me or not? I'm not doing any pulling, at least not for free. Hmm, watch this V, if I press B near snow, but it's just a rocks. But, that doesn't get rid of the weed, it's just going to grow back unless you actually pull it. <laughs> A bit like this is no match for my horn. I'll be. You actually helped me. This made my week. You got a reward ready, right? But B, helping others is already its own, its own reward, and you didn't do anything. Kind of confused me why this text box didn't disappear, but whatever. It's really, 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 really not. Oh, 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 oh. helpful bugs is over, God, dude. I ain't got much, but please take this. You got us, cane. I mean, ten berries. Berries, so many berries. Use them to buy something nice later, alright? Thank you, we surely will. We'll be going now. Make sure to warn others of the danger. You are near something that can be interacted with the horn. A bit will show up over the party leader's head. But, like, Capu, I appreciate you trying to help, but, like, the fact that that little spot's still, still there means that it could very easily grow back. Oh. Or not? Now well, whatever. Kavu, you seem pretty bad at using your horde. Come on, let me turn around so that I can hit me. That doesn't seem very in character. You don't even know me. They literally just met. Ah, uh, like good old fantasies. Now, if we press B at just the right time, while encountering an enemy, then... I don't know why I'm doing so bad with blocking, considering I'm normally not this bad. And I go down easily, but not this easily. As, as the BBB once said. Also, we got a crunchy leaf. It's funny, because the other playthrough I did, I also got a crunch... There, so if you hold the B-Bot, then he just won't stop using his horn. This is it. Snake mouth done. It doesn't look that scary, you know? According to rumors I've heard, it is the grave of a thousand explorers. Wow, only a thousand? They really did not try that hard to get this, did they? Having had countless journeys, many a song have been written about its dangers, and many a grammar have been incorrected by what I said. For real? Its interior must be absolutely riddled with monsters. And monsters, I mean death traps. It must be extremely monsters, I mean cautious. Jeez, way to sell it to me, Kavu. The higher the danger, the better the treasure. It's true that the artifact is likely to be inside, but are simple riches worth such a risk to you? You were the one that was forcing me on the journey, genius! Not trying to scare me off. Let's get in there. I must make sure she stays safe. Hmm. I do not care to read that. Crystal berries are basically just... Are just the rare item that can be found by enough exploring in this game. Well, it'd be a good challenge to see how far you could get while Kavu is permanently using the horn. Anyway. Also. 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 I would read that dialogue, but. Oh, okay. Now the B button's working. There is much more light here. There must be light near this new one. What a surprisingly cozy entrance. Maybe that's why all the guards let their guards down. I meant to say soldiers for the first guards. Uh huh. Hey, can you, do you really have to comment on every small thing? 
He is overreacting much. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, don't look so sad. Or er, how about this? If I want to know more about where we are or about something or someone near us, I'll just have it. Sounds good? Very well. I'll make sure to have information at hand for what you do. Cool, now let's keep going. Also, apparently, B is the one controlling the game. We really should give B more credit. Pretty alright music for this area. I would say that this game has probably my least favorite overall soundtrack of all of the games I've listened to soundtracks to, but I mean, I haven't really listened to much of the bad soundtracks. In fact, I find it really hard to find the game with an overall bad soundtrack. This game does have a few standout songs, but but overall the songs are kind of just there. Also, check this out. There we go. If you do it at just the right rhythm. Hey, what the heck, Cabo? Not worth anymore. Oh wow. I can't believe I actually landed. Yeah, with these guys, all you've got to do is flip them over, tattle, or spy. Because that's always a very... What? Wow. That's the first time I ever... First time I've seen someone fail at that in a really long time. What's up with this thing? It's like a spiky pill thing. Its armor is really thin, so I can barely hurt thing. That cat can flip it over, though. Yeah, he literally... Just did. Oh yeah, it's not L to cancel out of something, it's B. Huh? Ah, B. Because V is a B. Is clever. You know, if you'd take the clever and replace it with stupid. Or an even better analogy than that. You know, if it's possible. Alright. Bye, V. I'm gonna go do this adventure by myself. Wah ha ha. Really, all I'm doing is holding B and hitting. Too bad this goes away after a while. Because eventually holding B does something else. Well, that was fun. Now, let's cross the bridge. Oops. Um. How about we cross the bridge? Oh. Wow, Cavi sees it by the way. Shut up! Oh, it's kind of hard to hit you when I'm inside of you. This bridge seems to be out. How are we going to cross? By going to Escalator Land, obviously. Oh, that's it. Game over. Let's go back. Wait, B. Hold on. It's too soon to give up. There must be a way. A way. Duh, I was kidding, you know? Look over there. One of those ancient switches, we just need to hit it. You can just fly over to it, right? That's too much effort. I've got a better plan. My mighty beamer, I just need to get in front of it with X and press B to throw it. Also, I have no idea. I have no idea what Cavi just said there, and frankly, I do not care enough to go back. I'll trust you with this, then. Give it your best shot. Wow, that's pretty cool. Oh, done, V. I'm expecting you to do that. Um, yeah, of course. Just as planned. What's it to you? I'm glad to have you as a reliable partner. Some sort of gibberish. Come on, I don't think that what you're saying is some sort of gibberish. It's probably really important. I don't care. I'm glad we're on the same page. Now let's continue with our quest. Kevin would never say something like that. Also, let's go hit this switch and see what it does. Also, you guys can't see this, but there's like a half a second of delay in between when I press the button and when it actually signals. It needs to be broken. Ooh, broken. That means that the entire purpose of that switch was for that fake out. We 
did it it. Anyway. Now that it's this. Leave this place, for beyond this point lies great danger. We have already lost one of ours in to this wretched place. Oh my. Of course, this coziness was an illusion. The path won't be easy, that much is for sure. No place is full of trip. No place full of treasures has ever been safe. So many have fallen looking for riches. Let's find the treasure quickly so no one else ventures in here. I will do this for that. Wow, more foreshadowing. Yeah, some of you have probably already guessed what it is at this point. Alright. What the heck? I hit B and it just straight up didn't work. Alright, now it's time for you to die, die, die. Go goodbye, bye, bye. Ow. Ow, you hit me in the eye, eye, eye. My favorite part about this game is how I get EXP points. No, not experience points. Exploration points. Oh, you don't even need the V-Marang? I didn't know that. Wow. Kevin, you're pretty good. Glad to have you on the team. And despite the fact that... I'm making you randomly snap. You know what? Hey, why did they just disappear for a second? Oh, okay, to get warped. A mushroom. What? We did all this for that? Seriously? It wasn't even a rare item. Heck, it wasn't even a rare mushroom. Ah! It was not in this place. Say that with the face. Turn this place down. Come now, B. Fortunately, as maybe let's pick it up. So All right. All I need to do. What? You can hit every other item in the game with V's V-Marang. That must mean this is some kind of scripted sequence. Huh? What? Phew, that was close. Her gurg Cabu, are you okay? Murf I guess he has the perfect time to go home. I don't like the look of that place. But I'm his reliable teammate. I'm going to regret this. Okay, that door opened. Can't wait to go to there after chapter four. Kinda of see my the problem. No. All right. Go go. No rush. I can wait. Oh, look at this mushroom broke my fall. I don't care to you, but you seem really heavy. Well, that's incredibly nice of you. Sure you are lighter than I seem. Uh huh. V, what the heck is wrong with you? <laughs> anyway, this place is really creepy. Wow, really? I don't. I really did not get that impression. Must agree. There doesn't seem to be a way to back up for me. We'll have to look around. Let's be careful, okay? You are almost a goner. So let's hit. So what do you have to say about this area? We're trapped. Well, I am. How shameful to make V count in such a dangerous place. Hmm. Well, it is nice to see some character growth, at least. But I can take care of myself. Am I in. Make me regret coming with you. V. What the heck? Sorry, I shouldn't undermine your choice. Let's press forward. Wait, what? The so was actually tried to leave earlier. What the heck is going on with the story? <laughs> anyway, speaking of the story, let's save. Because saving is part of the story. Yeah, if you hit the crystal from a really far place and it doesn't save, you have to get all up and close and personal with it. And with that, 
we are ending this video, finally entering Snake Mouth. We did some enemy battles, and we ended the video. Anyway, that'll do it for this guy's videos. Goodbye.